muted too. <laughs>
And we're live here from the Greensboro Ice House where your High Point Panthers are here to take on the American University Eagles. I'm Ben Shelton with Ian Temkin. And Ian, this is a game that is very important for both of these squads as any conference game is. You got that right. Both of these teams kind of lower down in the standings here in the D3 universe, but a win is a win no matter who you're playing against and would have really helped them out in the standings. Yeah, absolutely. Is you know, High Point has not had a great start in conference play so far, and American has also been on the same receiving end of those losses. As you look at their record, American is one in five on the season, and High Point not looking too much better themselves. But both teams looking to make some momentum happen, build off a good win today and allow the rest of their season to be maybe formatted off a, a couple of games here this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Hockey's a big momentum sport. Doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what level you're playing at. A win is a win and confidence is super duper key, especially in a sport where you're running your body into other people, getting hit with a hard rubber disc. You need all that mental strength to push you forward and that really comes with a win. Yeah, absolutely. As we'll transition here into tonight's lines, and we and we'll take a look right here. We have uh, a couple of interesting names here on the roster in um, Sh Max Sherman and Ian Brown, two guys that were D2 regulars that are both coming off injury that are playing here today with the D3 team. And we're going to see if they can have an impact on this game, but what else are you seeing over there, Ian? Well, the big thing that points out to me, being a goalie in the past, I mean, he's got the biggest picture on the screen right now. Zach Podelski starting a net for the Panthers. I mean, this guy, especially from last year, only getting to play a couple games. Coming in as the starter here for D3, really taking control on the ice and proving that he has what it takes to start most of these games. It's really exciting to come out here and watch him play. I mean, this guy just possesses all the natural instinct to be a goalie. He's got the size, he's got the movement. We're watching him right now in warm-ups. His hands are lightning fast. I'm really excited to see what he can do tonight. Yeah, I mean, we all love our goalies here in hockey. And another name to mention is uh, Pyatt. So Pyatt is actually a new uh, player to the High Point team this weekend. He has not played a single outing with the team so far. He'll be rocking 47 here tonight for the Panthers. and. He's hopping right into that second line with Sanderson and Pearl, and that's an experienced line. So I know the coaches have some high hopes for Pyatt that he's going to be able to uh, get some, like, just be able to put the puck in the back of the net because that's what this team is needed in a lot of different um, instances. And another name, uh, McGoigan, he's back from injury, and that's a very important one. Um, him and Marciota, now that I'm remembering both of them are coming back from injury this is their first game uh since their injuries which marciotis happened very early in the season and mcgoigan only missing a couple of games here in the last couple but some really big names that are returning here for the panthers and the panthers have high hopes for this one as we'll get another look here on the ice as the guys are continuing to warm up and We'll, s we'll come right back after these warm-ups are over.
And we're back here in the Greensboro Ice House as both teams take to their benches to talk to the coaches before the game. And like we mentioned earlier, this game has a lot of conference standing potential. Uh, both teams not doing too hot in the conference. High Point having a handful of wins. Uh, one against Citadel, two against ODU. Um, lost the last weekend that they played against Montgomery College. Um, but, you know, Ian, as we look at these two teams, there's one thing that stands out in between the two. And American, which you don't see this very often, it's a really cool thing. They're actually a co-ed team playing in the Men's Division Three League. So you have girls and guys on the lineup and the roster and uh, interchanging. So that's a really cool feature here today that the Panthers might never see again. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Not something you see a lot in collegiate hockey as a co-ed team, but American fielding five women on their roster today. Um, really exciting to see what they can do out there and see how that has an effect on the game. As the first uh, face-off goes in the direction of the High Point Panthers, is your starting lineup for tonight. We have Evangelista and Grady Murphy alongside Marciota, as we mentioned, is his first game back here in a little while. And then we have, I believe it is uh, Federov with uh, McGoigan, the two of them that were starting. But right now they've got out there uh, Kavitka and Lindauer. So that's that second line that they moved up to the start. As Here's a cross there from the Panthers as American tries to get it out of the zone. And... Evangelista gets it behind his own net, fighting for it with two American defenders as they try and chip that one out of the zone. And here comes Murphy. Murphy takes a shot, goes wide. Murphy gets his own rebound off the boards. Murphy fighting for it in the corner, sends it inside. And there was Evangelista, but Evangelista couldn't get the end of that. And here comes the first rush for the American Eagles as they just dump so they can get a line change. It's Here's Kavitka. Kavitka trying to catch them in the line change. Kavitka makes the move, gets it in by himself. Loses the puck there as there's three American defenders trying to get it out. As that just goes right through the skates of Lindauer as Lindauer wins the race to that one, gets it back in the zone as there that would have been offsides for the Eagles. And here we have Lindauer trying to create the breakout but makes a turnover. Sanderson. Skates in between, but there is Pyatt. Pyatt skating in. Pyatt tries to take a shot, and there's a save there from Bale. Behind the net, the Eagles try and skip, skip that one out, but a good keep there from McGoigan, but McGoigan loses the zone right after. Pyatt gets the puck, but no one could settle it until Alex Brown gets it. McGoigan gets it back. McGoigan tries to create the breakout here for the Panthers. The Panthers really having a hard time with a lot of turnovers here so far. Yeah, it's something early. They're trying to work the puck around, find the open guy. Something they've been working on a lot in practice is their communication out there on the ice. Knowing where their teammates and line mates are can make a really big difference when you're sending a puck out into the unknown. Up is here is Pearl. Pearl takes the shot, gets saved right in front, and not great rebound control there for the first one, but able to cover it was Bale. Yeah, the Beverly Hills native making a good save there. Um, something that we should note about him, the numbers that we do have on him is that he has a .58 save percentage. Not deal numbers if you're a goaltender. No, through six games on the season, he's allowed 41 goals. He is their only goaltender on the roster, so I commend him for that. And... Here's Federiv, chips it into the zone. Doesn't go very far. As there's Ian Brown. As the, pa excuse me, the Panthers try and create defense here as Podelski decides to just cover that puck after he couldn't get it moving. Smart move there by Podelski to slow the play down a little bit. We're gonna see another line change here from American. They have a really short bench today. So we're gonna see them looking for stoppages, dumping the puck, icings, any chance they can get to change the men out on the ice. Yeah, with a fully healthy American team, they they have 
15 skaters and one goalie. As here's Sherman. Sherman, a name that we're just glad that we can be calling again. Sherman loses it. Dumps it on the inside, but a cover there. But early whistle, the puck was not totally covered there, but the referee thought it was. Yeah, tough angle there for the referee. Puck was hiding below the iron bars on the net. Goalie had his hand close enough to it for him to earn the whistle. Yeah, if you're the Panthers, as we mentioned before, the short bench of this American Eagles team, you got to take advantage of that and try and just keep the puck in the offensive zone as much as possible, not allow them to get line changes. There's a slap shot there from Federiv and a, another good save for Bale. No, you got that exactly right, Ben. Especially on a two-game weekend like this, they're going to be playing them tomorrow as well, early in the morning. So we want the Panthers to be tiring out the legs of these Eagle players as quickly as they possibly can. Yes, yeah, here's Victoria Galvin. Galvin chips it in, and his Molly wasn't able to settle that one. And here's Galvin again, tries to kick a cross crease pass, but no one home. And there's Noah Rouch, and there's no icing on that one. We would have said the Panthers could touch that as his Molly creates the breakout. And this American forecheck has been something that honestly is allowed the game to go a little bit more in their favor. There's a big hit at center ice and cross crease pass that gets broken up by Rouch right in front. As there's Frey, one of the alternate captains for this American squad, gets it over to Kane. Kane fights for it in the boards. Kane gets it up to the blue line. Takes a shot, goes over the net, hits the back of Podelski's net, and here comes the breakout for the Panthers. Turner gets it over to Rouch. Rouch chips it in, but isn't able to win that race. Rouch fighting for it, but it gets behind the American bench as Kane does that and makes that pass, excuse me, and no icing there, so some more line changes in favor of American there. It's, there's a turnover by the Panthers, but Murphy is right there to get that one. Kavitka in the corner sends it back for Lindauer. Lindauer sends it up. Marciota. Marciota tries to take the blue line and does. Marciota doing it all by himself and a good glove save there by Bale. Yeah, really good stop there from Ryan Bale. Good chance from the Panthers. Good break in there. Able to create that three on two opportunity. Get a good shot off. It's nice. Good pressure that you we want to see from the Panthers this early on in the game. Absolutely, as Murphy comes in to take this draw, loses it to Noon. And there's the Panthers creating another turnover. Turnovers seem to be a big problem so far. As there's another turnover right there as the forecheck of Gauvin was strong. As they fail to keep it in the blue line, the Eagles, and here comes Evangelista. Evangelista takes the shot, gets hit by the butt of the stick, and able to save that one as Bale makes a move there. That's Kavitka. Big hit on center ice as Marciota gets the end of that puck, and they'll be off sides as an unfortunate... This, the puck wasn't agreeing with his stick there as Marciota skated into the zone before the puck. Yeah, interesting whistle call there as he didn't touch the puck. Instituting the offside rule, should have just been a delayed offsides, but whistle blows anyway, so we're going to see a faceoff here taken by Sanderson. Sanderson coming into that faceoff. He's one of the alternate captains, one of the two, um, or excuse me, one of the three with Tim Pearl and Dorian Federiv three veterans on this team. I mean, these guys played with the D2, or the only Panthers team last year, and they bring a lot to this lineup. Yeah, a lot of their leadership potential, they've been doing a lot for this Panthers team, and they've been real leaders, even though none of them have that direct captain's patch. It means just as much. Exactly. As That's Pyatt who gets it behind the net, tries to find Sanderson in front, but gets tipped up there. Behind the net, fighting for it. American able to chip that one out. As they try to win this race is Frasca. Frasca showing off his wheels there. And no penalty there. Two hockey players hit the ice. And here comes 
Pyatt again. Pyatt takes his first shot on goal as a Panther and another save for Bale. Yeah, another line change here for both teams, looking to get some fresh legs out there on the ice. Someone that we're seeing out there right now, a name that I love to call for is Ian Brown. This guy just possesses so many of the intangibles that you need as a hockey player. So much speed, so much power, and he's got one of the nastiest shots I've ever seen. Yeah, as Brown loses that face off, as Sherman gets it back in the corner, and the two of them will be seeing if they could do anything as they have been on the D3 squad for quite a, a while. As there's Sherman trying to find Brown, Sherman ends up with it. Finds Federev cutting. Federev takes a shot right over the net. Dorian Federev. Here's Ismali. Ismali gets it over to Sherm. Sherman chips it in. As that's Baker who gets that out. Excuse me, that is Mar Marira. Njoku, I, she is, or they have not been able to play a game so far this season, and this is their first game of the season and first game with America in this season. As there's a shot that goes right over the net. As here's Ian Brown who gets it. Ian Brown starting to make his move. Brown got numbers here for the Panthers, tried to make a move, but... The puck stopped just a little bit too much. As Panthers still moving with a lot of speed compared to this American team due to those legs that can be much more rested. And here's a penalty call. We'll see on who. And it may not have been a penalty. It may have just been an offsides call which would be the wrong call to make there, Ben, because the puck did not cross the blue line. Not quite sure what he saw there. Nope, but we're going to keep playing on if the Falco takes that draw. As there's Turner, who gets in the corner, and Rouch fighting for it, loses the puck, and gets kicked in there by Lindauer. Lindauer shot. Rouch, another shot and on, the, on his stomach. Bale makes four <laughs> saves or so, and... Just not what you were expecting as a guy who whose face was practically in the back of the net. If I'm a Panther on the ice right there, I'm going to be kicking myself for that one. I'm going to be having dreams about that opportunity right there. Unbelievable that the Panthers weren't able to score their great saves by Bale. Yeah, here's another opportunity. DeFalco takes this draw and ends up getting tied up there in the center. As that's Kane who takes it away. And then Spathies gets it out. Another alternate captain for this American team. As here is Kavitka. Kavitka tries to make a pass and a turnover right in front, but Kavitka able to recover with his stick and uh, disrupt the shot from Frasca. That's a bad turnover to give away right there, right in front of the net. It's something you learn in mites and squirts as a hockey player. You never want to pass the puck across the middle of the ice in your defensive zone. Always leads to bad things. It's always easier to just send it up off the boards, get it out of your zone so your goalie doesn't have to worry about it. Really lucky deflection there so that there wasn't a good scoring chance. Murphy gets it in to McGoigan. And here's Evangelista. Evangelista trying to make that breakout pass to Marciota. Marciota couldn't handle the pass. Marciota. Murphy kicks it in. And here is Gullivan. Gullivan gets it up to Hayes. As Galvin tries to fight for it, but Murphy gets the puck there as Schl Schliebner has the puck, sends it off the boards. Turnover again, Gullivan. And that'll be an offsides call there as. Aaron Golovin didn't see that his teammate was just past the blue line. Yeah, that's what happens when you get a little too excited on a chance there. Saw a lot of open ice in front of him. Didn't take the chance to look up and see that he had a couple teammates just a little late getting back onside. Stoppage there. As Grady Murphy wins that draw, gets it back to Federiv. Federiv to Ismali. Ismali to Marciota. Marciota tries to make a move, gets hit off the stick. It's, there's a, just, Bale gets a, just a tip of that one. I, I don't know what to say. That was a great save as Murphy has it in the corner. Tries to dangle around someone. As Federiv 
doesn't decide to pinch that as Hayes will take that one away. And they'll hit another dump and line change here. American, that's their game plan if they want to be in this game, which they have done well so far. Exactly. They're executing it to perfection, really keeping the Panthers on their toes here, capitalizing on any mistake that they've made so far. Uh, Federiv and Evangelista. Evangelista has it, takes a shot that gets blockered away, and Panthers can't keep the blue line as Molly decides to hit that up. And there's a turnover right in the middle as Frasca, but another lucky break on the offside. There is a two-on-two -two chance there, and Frasca just out skating the blue line a little bit. Yeah, mental error there by Frey, who got caught off sides, pushing the puck a little bit too much there on the forecheck. Caught off sides, taken away another Eagle scoring chance. Yep. As Kavitka sends that one in, America sends it right back out. Kavitka sends it right back in. And <laughs> there's Pyatt in the corner. He wins the race to that puck. Pyatt manages to duck below his defender, but then loses it to the back of the net to Kane, who's the captain of this team. As there's Pyatt again. Pyatt trying to make a move. Gets it right behind the bench, excuse me, behind the net as he gets it back in the corner. Pyatt. Pyatt gets it right behind the net again as American putting on the pressure there is, that is Marura Njoku. And Kavitka gets it up to Sanderson. Sanderson back to Kavitka. Three Panthers there trying to get that puck. There's a man on the ice, Sanderson. Back down, another save, but no control there. But there's another shot and a save from a Panther, as there's Alex Brown in the corner. Panther's not able to keep that one in as Lindauer tries to run after that one. And Lindauer gets it over to Kavitka, but Kavitka can't keep that one. And as they try and, there's waved off the icing because Ian Brown won that race. And Ian Brown trying to, gets an odd shot on goal off an American stick, but Bale is there again to make a stop. Yeah, really nice stuff here from Bale. Already has nine saves on the night. Um, really solid here for the first period from him, I mean, but Ian Brown right there negating the icing call that we were gonna see to create another scoring chance for the Panthers. Yeah, and you'd mentioned his speed before and it just showed right there. It's the Panthers, Sherman gets some space on the inside, tries to find Pearl as Pearl can't get the puck on the back of his stick. It gets sent behind to Brown. Brown tries to take a backhand shot and just barely misses that as the, the net comes off his bearing. And Ian Brown, you saw him slam his stick. He was upset that he didn't get the back of the net on that chance. Yeah, this is a really competitive guy. His first sport, I just learned this recently about him, was soccer. This guy is fast, he has speed, and in both of those sports, the competitive spirit that you see from players in them is incredibly strong. This guy competes, this guy works, he's everything you want on your team. Yeah, and if you're coming back from injury, that's a look that you want to get to get your get the, the puck rolling, I'd say, instead of the ball, but as there's a pass, Ian Brown gets it again, makes a move. Sends it on the inside to Sherman. Sherman couldn't get the back of that puck. It's now the Eagles, Frasca, gets that, and he's fighting for it. Multiple American defenders here as they get another takeaway, and here's a two-on-one for Gallivan. Gallivan tries to find a pass, but good defensive play there by Schliebner. Schliebner, Schliebner gets it up to Brown, Brown to Pearl. Pearl with the drop pass to Sherman. Sherman takes a shot and just barely wide of the net. I mean, that had some power on it. That was a great offensive move there by those three. Really good communication, really good passing, creating a good scoring chance for him. Yeah, as Brown gets the puck on the end of his Whoa. stick, makes a nice move there, but creates a turnover, takes a shot, but a good block there by McGoigan, and then a save there from Podelski as the puck now gets hit up in the netting to the left of the Panthers bench and that's American's first shot of the game and Zach Podelski's first save of the game which comes four, or a little under 14 minutes of game played so yeah it's always tough as a goalie to not have any time to warm up yourself any earlier and 
waiting for a shot like that to come in. It's almost your worst nightmare as a goalie not being ready and warm. And here, here comes Ian Brown. Wow, Ian Brown with so much speed, and he just misses that one right, right to the left of it. And this line has been out there for quite some time as I say that, and now they go straight to the bench. But that line was out there for a while, but they were buzzing. They were really creating a lot of good chances there. They had a lot of good communication. That's something you see from these guys that have been brought down from D2. That's one of the biggest things that I've noticed is the difference between these two teams is the teamwork and the play that they have. Hopefully they can spread the love with the rest of their teammates. Yeah, absolutely. It's Federer makes a good check there. There's Rauch. Rauch takes it in himself. Rauch tries to make a move, gets picked up by Marciota. Marciota takes a shot and a blocker save. Excuse me, a pad save there from Bale. And that'll be icing if they don't win the race. And it gets waved off as... It looked like his Molly just thought that he was in the in the clear. Federev gets that up to Turner. Turner finds is Molly. Is Molly finds Marciota. Marciota tries takes a slapper and right in the AU of Bale's chest. And that's another save here. He's looked impressive for this first game. Yeah, no, it's something you want to see as a goalie. I mean, he hasn't faced any incredible scoring chances besides that one where he stopped it on his face in front of the net, but otherwise the Panthers have been giving him pretty easy stops, shots to save, which can only build up his confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Marciota behind the net, m tries to make a move there, but gets it taken away as American chips that one into the zone, and there's Lindauer and another turnover, which Marciota gets the puck on the back of his stick. Marciota skating through all by himself. Marciota takes a shot that gets Blockered right into the glove, which, I mean, it looks really cool, but not planned. But that was another good save there from Bale. Yeah, definitely not planned there, but when is anything planned in goaltending, able to recover really easily, get another stoppage as we're going to see another line change here for American. Yep, as Murphy comes in to take a draw. And American doing pretty well in the faceoff circle so far as there was a cross and... Wow, I thought that one hit the back of the net. I, I didn't even see that pass go through. So did the scoreboard <laughs> as the music started to play for a second. Yes, it's here's a two on one. Tries to take a pass in the cross crease, and but a good block there from Lindauer. Lindauer has been pretty good. If there's a tip in front by Frasca, excuse me, that's Connor Kane. And Kane's been doing great here, producing both their offensive chances so far. As there's an odd bounce off the wall is here comes Kavitka. Kavitka with a lot of speed. Kavitka passes it back but gets it immediately taken away there by Kane. Good positioning there from Kane and Wall tries to get that on the back of his stick but couldn't settle it as the Panthers look to regroup. Murphy looking to bring it in himself. Murphy got a two on two. Murphy round him Ooh. and just barely rings the post. Grady Murphy with one of the best chances that we've seen all period. And I mean, it's the goalie's best friend for a reason as Brown gets it as they'll be offsides. And that's Murphy losing his stick. We're gonna see a penalty called off of that after a little bit of extracurriculars there from Danny Noon. Uh, on American, knocking the stick out of his hand after a whistle is not something you can do. You're going to get penalized for that. No, a quick slash right after that first hit. And we'll get the first look at this power play. And the power play has been a little underwhelming for this Panthers team so far. But, I mean, when you have less people on the bench and against it, for any other team that you've played all year, you'd hope that this could possibly get your power play started and off on the right foot. Exactly. This is a big chance for the Panthers to wear out not just the skaters for American, but also Bale. They want to tire him out as much as they can for the rest of the game. This is a chance to get a lot of shots on net, a lot of pressure, maybe even score a goal. Yeah, and when you look at this first power play line, Sanderson, Kavitka, you have Lindauer, and it is... Pyatt on that first line with Alex Brown. As there is Kavitka. Kavitka takes a shot right inside, gets blocked in front there by Baker. 
as Alex Brown keeps that one in. Kavitka tries to take a short side shot, but no angle there as Kavitka sends it back to the blue line where Alex Brown is. And there's Lindauer. Lindauer looking for a tip in front. Seems like Pyatt is right in front of the net trying to be that presence on this goalie screen as there's a good way to kill off some of that penalty for American, and they are also able to get a line change as the Panthers also go for a power play line change. As here comes Lindauer. Lindauer trying to make it through three defenders, but can't. Gets it hit out. As here's Kavitka again. He's been on the ice since this power play has started. Kavitka back to Pearl. Pearl hits it across, and then a shot there from Lindauer. Back to Kavitka. Kavitka gets it to Ian Brown, but he gets it taken away by Frasca, and Frasca has a one-on-one, -on -one, but tried to uh, just chip it in there, but couldn't get anything going. There's, there's Kavitka again. Kavitka over to Sherman. Sherman tries to make a move, loses the puck off his stick. Sherman finds Federev. Back to Sherman. Tries to find Pearl right in front, but can't handle that pass as it goes over to Ian Brown. Brown takes a shot, and a shoulder save there from Bale. Another save, and there's only six seconds left in this power play, and not much happening for the Panthers. Yeah, biggest problem for the Panthers on this power play so far has just been a lack of speed all around. We're seeing slow passes, slow movement with the puck. Not opening up any opportunities for themselves. Americans doing a really good job of letting the puck come to them, being exactly where they need to be at all times. Panthers need to force an opening to appear for themselves. Federiv takes a shot there and another save. It's Bale covers that one. And there is only one minute and 32 seconds left in this period so far. Yeah, a pretty back and forth period for both teams. I would say the Panthers have most of the momentum overall, but neither team really able to create any incredible scoring chances. Yeah, oddly enough, I feel like we've played most of this game in the neutral zone. Um, there's been not that much time for American in the in their offensive zone, and the Panthers, though having a, a lot of offensive zone time, I feel like it's played more defensive or defensively minded here in the neutral zone as there's another save from Bale. Yeah, we got the so-called, or self-proclaimed, I should say, beast line out for the Panthers right now. I was with them at practice uh, a couple nights ago, and these guys talk to each other a lot. These guys work with each other a lot. It's just a really good bond that they have on and off the ice, and let's see if they can put some good work to it right now. Yep. Murphy sends one into the netting, but it doesn't end up hitting the netting. As there's American, that's Gauvin, Victoria Gauvin. She skates it in. Galvin tries to center it, but it gets taken away here as Murphy tries to get one right there. It gets another save as Bale, and he was trying to snipe that top right. As here's Noon. Noon coming fresh out of the box. Sends it down and gets it to Ismali as Molly finds Marciota. Marciota able to find Federiv after it got hit a couple times and Evangelista takes a shot, gets patted away and Marciota fighting for it in the corner as Belopolsky ends up with it. Excuse me, that's Mariah Njoku. Ends up with it there, another shot and that was a high danger chance that created almost out of nothing as we have 13 seconds left, Evangelista will try to get something to happen, goes right between and oh. the flying poke check almost there from the goalie as Bale goes all the way out of his crease to save that one. Risky move there from Ryan Bale, trying to poke that puck away. Less than 10 seconds left in the period, I don't fully blame him, but he missed the puck with his stick initially and was able to stop the puck with the rest of his body. Almost really dangerous there for the Eagles. As there's Pyatt. Sanderson loses that face off, and that will just about do it as American just decides to board this puck. And the Panthers and the Eagles ending up 0-0 zero to zero at the end of the first period. Uh, scoreless sheet so far, and we'll see if what the Panthers and the Eagles will do in the, this second period. We'll be right back.
And we're back here for the second period between the High Point Panthers and the American University Eagles here in Greensboro. 0-0 game so far. We saw a lot of back and forth play going between these two teams here as the Eagles take the ice. Ben, what were some things that you noticed in that last period? Yeah, I mean, the the some of these skaters for the Panthers really just look like they're not trying as hard as what they're capable of. I mean, when you're looking at an American team, like they are one in five, granted, but you don't want to take anyone lightly. I don't care who it is. And it's just really interesting to see the way that they've been playing, and it feels like they've been playing um, just up to their level. They're not playing the brand of Panthers hockey that they normally do, um, and that they started off the season playing, like against ODU, Citadel. Like, and even Elon, when you look at that game, like that one game was close. So like they're just not playing their brand of hockey right now. They're playing a brand of hockey that they're not accustomed to. And that's just been affecting the Panthers a lot. Um, but there is one line that has been stood out among all the rest, and that is the Brown with Sherman, Pearl, and Brown. Ian Brown, I will say. that, that Those three guys have been buzzing. No... Now, there hasn't been one that hit the back of the net, but they have been buzzing. So we'll see if they can get something on the score sheet this round. Exactly. Murphy and Kane here on the draws. The Panthers win the faceoff. We're going to see it coming in here now. Brought in by Marciota. Lost it now. Coming back from McGuigan. McGuigan takes the D to D pass over to his partner, Schlieber. Schliebner. Puck now sent in by the Eagles as we're going to see an icing called there. First time it feels like in a while we've been seeing a lot of called off icings. But that one's going to go and we're going to face off here in the offensive zone for the Panthers early on. I was going to say that feels like it's been the first icing all game. Like there hasn't really been one to my memory so far. And the Panthers get a good opportunity here with some tired legs and a short bench of American. And we'll see if they can capitalize here in the first couple of seconds of this period. Yeah, Murphy here on the draw. He's going to win it back to his D-men. American trying to point it out, and they can. Panthers now have to regroup. Puck sent in, stopped there by Kane. Kane trying to bring it into his offensive zone. Great move on the ice there, but he's going to lose the puck. Trying to get it back out in front, not going to happen. Panthers now trying to make a move out of their own zone. They're going to do it, clearing it right out to... But never mind, they're going to get it right back in. Here we go. Eagles now taking it behind the net. Good physical play there by the Panthers. Schliebner now going to settle with an icing here. Not going to happen, though, as it's moving too slowly. Americans going to have to touch it up on their own, though. Great interception there from Evangelista. Evangelista taking the shot in. Not going to happen. Trying to get, a, get the puck again, but overskates it. The Eagles now trying to break it out of their own zone. Another chance there from the Panthers that rang the post. Are we going to see it? No. Great skating there by Jada Hayes to call off the icing and the Panthers now are going to have to break it out of their own zone pass there off the glass going to Marciota Marciota bringing it into his O zone he's got options 3 on 2 takes the shot rebound what a save there by Bale Panthers now have it up top bringing it back down low Marciota with the puck sending it out in front here comes Kvitka Kvitka looking for an open shot he works it around back to Marciota takes the shot over the net Lindauer now going to send it in. Battle in the corner. Out in front. American's going to come out with the puck. Trying to get it out of the zone. Marciota says no. Takes a shot on that. Not going to happen. Here comes Kvitko with the puck. Gets knocked down. Great hit there. Galvin now tries to clear it, but we're going to have a hooking call here on American. This is another time for this Panthers power play to just get the, the opportunity to work. And their first power play, like we mentioned before, was not really the greatest. They didn't have any great offensive opportunities. So we'll see if the Panthers can regroup and get a much better opportunity here as the Panthers hit the power play again. Yeah, that's going to be Aaron Gallivan for hooking there as the Panthers get another chance to work. We're going to see Cameron Sanderson here on the faceoff for the Panthers. Does his best. Alex Brown gets the puck. <coughs> Back to Sanderson. Sanderson working it in towards the net. Puck is going to get cleared of the zone. Fedorov has it. Now passing it to his D partner, Lindauer. Back to Fedorov. 
Great move there by Frasca on American to dump it in, waste some time here on the power play. Alex Brown now working with the puck. Tries to send it up to his teammate, not gonna happen. Frasca with the puck again, is gonna send it almost into his coach's face there and we're gonna get a stoppage. So far this penalty kill has looked really impressive. They've really been able to push the puck up, up their end of the ice into the Panthers defensive zone and a lot of different defenders like Frasca and Maria Njoku have been very active on this penalty kill so far. Yeah, really good work there. Here comes Sherman now off the faceoff win from the Panthers. Taking it behind the net. Looking for his options. He's going to pass it up to his demon, Lindauer. Over to Kvitka. Kvitka working to fight with it up there. Does a really good job. Lindauer. In front to Pearl. He shoots. He scores. Tim Pearl on the power play. Great pass in front. Open ice. Able to bury it past Bale for the Panthers' first goal of the game. Yeah, and like I mentioned before the game or this period started, it's this line has been looking really good. And, you know, they were just waiting for one to go in the back of the net, and Pearl able to get his goal there. And that was an impressive one, able to snap that one right past the goaltender. And that's the first goal that the Panthers have today. Yeah, you mentioned it before the play started this period about this line, and they just keep working. Here comes a turnover here by the Panthers, though. We're going to have a penalty called. Looks like it might be another hooking call. This one's going to be against the Panthers as Ian Brown makes his way towards the penalty box. Yeah, not, not a good time to get a penalty here. I mean, when the Panthers just come off a really big momentum shift, like a goal where there hasn't been a single one scored so far, obviously, you don't want to get immediately in the box and be on the back of your skates just able to really not carry that momentum well. And we'll see if the Panthers can have this penalty kill and be able to kill it off, and that could be a momentum builder in its own. Yeah, Turner here, after a face-off win, is going to dump the puck down, do a little bit of time, killing off the clock. Turner now putting on a little bit of pressure there. Panthers playing a 2-2 on the penalty kill right now. Not putting on a lot of pressure on two American, letting the puck come to them. Here comes American, saved by Podelski again. Not having to do too much work so far in this game as Podelski, but he's still looking pretty solid. Yeah, and that shot there by Maria Njoku, she, or he, excuse me, has done a really good job this game. His speed really shows out for the rest of this American team, and he's been an impact player, but a good save there from Podelski. Gallivan passing it up front to Njoku. Stopped there by Podelski as Federov looks to try to clear the puck, and he will. American now coming back to clear and regroup here as Marina Joku takes the puck behind the net. Good pressure there from Turner putting body on. American now pass up. Here's Frasca. Frasca bringing it into the zone. Intercepted by Federov. Federov doing his best to take it in. Marina Joku in the way to make a stop. Here comes Kane, the captain of these Eagles. Now taken by Frey. Frey trying to get a shot off. Blocked in front by Federov. Federov now looking to clear the puck and will. 55 seconds left on the power play for the Panthers. Or a penalty kill, I should say, for the Panthers. American taking it behind the net. Here comes Murphy trying to put on some pressure. Really good job there by Murphy to slow things down there. He gets the puck. Takes the shot. Good save there by Bale. Another blocker save there. He's looked impressive in some high danger chances other than that one from Pearl. Exactly. It's what happens as a goalie. When you face a lot of shots early on, you get... In. Here comes Frasca now. Frasca out to Kane. Kane has a lot of space. Let's see what he does with it. Takes the shot on net. Save made by Podelski. Just flashes the leather there a little bit and just pulls it right down. A great save and great reaction from Podelski. Yeah, tough there. You saw him talking to his defenseman. Probably couldn't even see the puck there. Kane, given a lot of space, had a lot of time to do whatever he wanted with the puck there. Not something you want to see as a goalie. 20 seconds left here on the penalty kill. Let's see what the Panthers can try to do as Tim Pearl comes in to take the fence, the faceoff. Faceoff win there for Tim Pearl and the Panthers. Puck's going to be tried to get dumped out and will after a, after a miss there by Spathies. Here comes Sherman in front for Pearl. He shoots. He scores again. Great move there by Tim Pearl off an amazing pass from Max Sherman. Really good goal there. Short-handed for the Panthers. Yeah, and Pearl gets his second in just under or over five minutes of game time. 
Pearl just buzzing out there, one of those alternate captains, and he's that for a reason. And that was a great feed there from Sherman. I mean, when you're able to produce any offense on the penalty kill, that's a good thing. And then you immediately get a goal. That's a great look here for the Panthers. Exactly. We're seeing Tim Pearl come off the ice now after a faceoff win by the Eagles. Penalty has expired. Panthers have it behind the net. A lot of pressure there from the Eagles. Sherman has the puck now. Slowing it down. Working his way around with the puck. Picking out his options. Tries to get a pass over. And here it comes. The Panthers, they're going to lose the puck. Alex Brown now trying to get the puck in. That's not Alex Brown. That's my bad. That's going to be Schlieber. In front. Shot going wide there for the Panthers. Puck picked up behind the net. Bale trying to get his puck down. It's loose in front. American has to clear the puck. They cannot do that. Ian Brown trying to get the puck in the corner now. Brown in the corner with the puck. Looking up top for his D-man. Deciding instead to pass it backwards to Sherman. Sherman back to Brown. Brown still with the puck now. Great interception there on the stick by Hayes. Jada Hayes clearing the puck out on her own. Doing a lot of good work there for the Eagles. Puck now coming back out. Here comes the Panthers again on the attack. Close off sides. They're going to be called on. Shot comes in front. Ian Brown tries to get a deflection. Not going to go anywhere. Galvin now clears the puck out. Not going to go that far, though, as the Panthers send the puck right back in. Looking for a line change now. Puck back in the Panthers' hands. And it's right back out of there. Here comes a chance for Frasca and the Eagles. Frasca takes a shot over the net. Ian Brown now trying to pick up the puck, make a move here. Good pressure there by Brown as the Eagles have possession. Marina Jogu gets absolutely leveled. That's going to be a penalty, though. As <laughs> that one was a little over-eager there, I must say. Uh, penalty again coming up to the Panthers here. We're going to have another penalty kill. Yeah, Pyatt getting a little bit too antsy in his first game for the Panthers, and Pyatt just absolutely leveled someone there in the middle of the ice. That was Najari Maria. Marira Njoku and I mean skating right right now already so good to see he's not hurt but I mean just a just a devastating hit yeah that's one that's gonna leave you hurt in the morning as here comes the Eagles taking the puck behind the net here comes Marina Gogu in front is Kane Eagles gonna have to regroup in the neutral zone Marira Njoku over to Kane Kane looking for Frasca. Frasca able to touch the puck, bringing it over to the corner. Pressure there by Lindauer. So we're going to see a little bit of a battle. There goes Frey as well getting in there. Into the Frey, if I might say so myself, as the puck is cleared by the Panthers. Good pressure there from Noah Rauch, making things difficult for the Eagles. As here comes Kane. Kane trying to bring it in for the Eagles. Taking it outside. Slowing things down in the corner. Kane has options. Puts it up top to Maria Njogu. Back to Kane. Kane on the side here. Panthers not deciding to put on a lot of pressure. As Kane takes a shot, and it's going to be eaten up by Podelski. Another good save there. He's flashed the glove a couple times here in this period, and Podelski's looked real good. Calm, very composed, and I really like the way that he's played tonight. Yeah, it's nice to see uh, if you're out there on forward to know that your goalie is looking calm, cool, and collected in the net. Does a lot for morale on the team. Here comes Grady Murphy to take the face off. He's going to win it. And then immediately lost there is the Eagles. Gallivan has the puck now. Trying to get it through some bodies. Gallivan has it in the corner now. Good defensive play there from the Panthers, but it's going to be kept in by Kane. Back to Gallivan. Gallivan working in for a shot. Takes it. Going to be blocked right in front. Gallivan now has it to Frey as the shot is saved by Podelski. Puck dumped out there by Evangelista, and we're going to see some more time taken off the clock here. 30 seconds left on the penalty kill for the Panthers. Panthers putting on a lot of pressure. Gallivan now has the puck for the Eagles, slowing things down a little bit, deciding what move to make. Maria Njogu with the puck, bringing it through center ice. Gets past one man, gets past two men. Has the puck now, bringing it into the corner. Trying to make a move in front. No one's there to pick up the passes. We're going to see another penalty called here. Let's see who it's on. Another hooking call, and it looks like it's going to be on the Panthers. Yeah, the door's open again as Evangelista is looking like he's skating to the box. And that's another brutal penalty call. 
as we didn't see a single, well, we saw not a single penalty for the Panthers in that first period, but two, or three, excuse me, very quick after another here, and that's just kind of killed the momentum. I know it is two to one, or two to zero, excuse me, but, I mean, you don't want to five on three. Maroon Ajogu now with the puck up top. Takes a shot over. Not getting anywhere, though. Good defense there by Max Sherman. Five on three play is over. As Pyatt comes out of the box. Onto the ice. Takes a shot. Puck is going to be cleared by the Panthers. No, it's not. Gallivan able to hold the line. Max Sherman, though, gets the puck. Passing it back now to Pyatt. Pyatt and Sherman two on one here on the penalty kill. Sherman with the puck. Passes it back to Pyatt. Great save there by Bale, doing a really good job to control the puck and get a stoppage. I mean, that's a great idea there from Sherman to get a little saucer pass going right in front of the goalie, but too close, but not enough as Bale is able to just swallow that one up. But a good idea, but just a couple extra feet of separation. You could have had a, the, a separate result. Sherman wins the faceoff back to Pearl. Pearl takes a shot. It's going to be stopped there by Bale. Those two have combined for a goal now, an assist and a goal. Sherman, that's what he did last time there on the faceoff, coming in two on one, passing it over to Pearl. Thought he could recreate the success there. Couldn't work. He's going to take another faceoff. This time it's going to be won by American, and here comes Frasca. Frasca bringing the puck up the ice. He's going to decide to dump it in as Tim Pearl chases it. Pearl now for the Panthers. Passing it up. Sherman now has the puck. Sherman bringing it in for the Panthers. Gets around one guy. Coming in for a shot. Makes a move. Great save there by Bale. But Max Sherman, this guy is eating right now as the Panthers still have a minute left on the penalty kill, I should say. Penalty kill. Not a power play, but they look like they have all the momentum right now. Yeah, Sherman tried a little toe drag release there, and he just could, couldn't barely get around his defender. But... Creates a great move and more offensive chances here for the Panthers on the shorthanded side. Frey and Pearl battling now. Here comes Kane with the puck for the Eagles. Coming in one on two here. Makes a move around one. Takes a shot wide as now it's Sherman battling for the puck. Coming down is Frasca. Frasca has it. Kvitka now takes it away. That's going to be Spathies with the puck. Trying to get cleared out. Spathies gets the puck again. Good defense there by Sherman to take the puck away. Kvitka now trying to get it. But Frey gets it instead. Kane now with the puck below the goal line. Up for Spathies. Takes a shot on. Good play in front there to get the puck out wide. Shot coming on. Rebound out there from Podelski, but the puck is going to get cleared. 20 seconds left now on the penalty kill for the Panthers. Bale has to play the puck here. Here comes Baker. Looking for options. Decides for Frey. Frey looking for Galvin. Not going to be able to find her. Panthers send the puck in again. Here comes Davis Turner now trying to put on pressure. American seems to have control there. No, they lose it. Panthers now slowing things down. That's Noah Rauch with it. Loses it, though, to Frey. Eagles are going to send it in for what looks like it's going to be an icing call here. Nine minutes left to go. Panthers are going to get a face-off in their offensive zone. Yeah, Rauch looking to do a little bit too much with that puck as he had three guys around him. But... Great way to kill off that penalty was the Panthers, and they've done great so far on the penalty kill, going three for three. Yeah, here comes Davis Turner out here for the faceoff for the Panthers. See what he can do. He wins it back there to Federov. Federov now taking it over. Shot blocked by Turner in front. Davis Turner now. Back up to Federov. Takes a slap shot from the top. It's going to work its way past the goal line. Surprised no one got to that puck first. Puck sneaks by, though. Govins almost had a chance there for a breakaway. Not going to happen. Here comes Kane. Kane working up the ice. Big hit there from Rauch. Kane's down, holding his leg. That's not something you want to see. Tough hit. Doesn't look like we're going to see a call here, though. Down on the ice is Kane, the captain of this Eagles team. As Rauch comes in to check on the player that he hit not just moments ago. Yeah. We'll be right back after this moment when we can get play started again.
And we're back. Kane able to work his way off the ice. Happy to see that he's able to do that now. No penalty is going to be called here on the play. Referees had to do some explaining to American and their coaching staff. So we're going to see a face-off here in the neutral zone. Eight minutes, 38 seconds left in the period here. Puck is going to be won by the Eagles. Hayes had it and lost it. Fedorov. Gallivan now sending the puck down in. Podelski deciding not to play the puck here. Fedorov with the puck below the goal line. Sending it up for Evangelista. Evangelista working his way around Gallivan. Here comes Evangelista. Three on one now for the Panthers. Evangelista takes the shot. Good save by Bale. Gallivan doing his best to make sure that no second shot could come on net. I mean, when you're looking at a, on a three-on-one opportunity and you don't make a pass, I think that that's the, the smart play there. And though it was a good shot, I think the pass-first mentality of this team, um, or excuse me, the, the shoot-first mentality of this team continues to show. We see that here comes Marciota. Getting knocked down, though. Gallivan now with the puck behind the net. The Eagles now trying to get the puck out of their own zone. Not going to happen thanks to a play by Evangelista. Evangelista with the puck now looking for his teammates. Good move there by Evangelista taking the shot in front. Saved by Bale and he's able to cover it. Yeah, you've seen Bale make some pretty impressive stops here tonight. And that was a great little move there from Evangelista to even create that chance in the cross. And Bale for the third time tonight if I'm not mistaken, has decided to go full out on his stomach to save some pucks. So we love the dedication from that. You love to see it. Here comes Cameron Sanderson on the faceoff for the Panthers. He's able to win it back to Alex Brown, but the puck is going to be stolen there by Frask. Frask now fighting with it from McGoigan. Frask knocked off the puck on a great play by Schliebner. With the puck now, looking for Alex Brown. Not going to get the puck, though. Maria, Maria Njogu now. Stopped by Sanderson. Looking for the puck now is Sanderson. Falling down, but it's going to be picked up by the Eagles and Maria Njogu. Working the puck down low. Sanderson able to pick it up, though. He has his teammates getting forward. That's Pyatt. Working down the ice, looking for his teammates. Takes the shot. Save made by Bale. Something to note here is that I've just realized as watching the game is that the American Eagles are without their top scorer, Joe Fareed. Uh, we have not called his name all night, and I he's not even out here with the team, so not really sure what that entails at all as we have not been in any communication with the team, but it's an interesting note here as they have no points on the board. Another save made there by Bale. Looks like we were seeing a little bit of pushing and shoving between Frey and Max Sherman there after the stoppage. <coughs> Sherman now looking to win the faceoff back to his teammates here. Right now we have Brown, Sherman, and Pearl out there on offense. Sherman going to win the faceoff back to his D-man. Ian Brown now with the puck. Working it in for Max Sherman. Max Sherman trying to get it out in front, but it's going to be stopped and picked up there by Bale. Another stoppage here. A couple of stoppages, like you mentioned, and this really favors this American team as they're going for a full line change, as you can see right here. But the more stoppages of play and the more time that they have to catch their breath, the better for this team. But, I mean, when you're the Panthers, you're not going to complain about any of those line or those uh, stoppages in play. You're exactly right. Here comes Kvitko with the puck now. Trying to work it in on his own. Manages to, gets by... A couple players there from the Eagles trying to send it in for Pearl. Not going to get there. Stopped again there by Bale. Another thing to mention, we've talked, we've, I feel like we've said this a lot, is they brought the puck into the zone themselves. Not a lot of passing when it comes to entry level into the zone. and I mean, it's affected the way the Panthers have played this entire game. You got that right. Govin now trying to get it out, but it's picked up by Ian Brown. Finding Lindauer now as he's going to send it down, but it's going to be tipped, so no icing call here. Here comes Tim Pearl behind the American goal. Pearl now working the puck around, finds Kvitka. Kvitka working the puck down, gets it to Ian Brown. Ian Brown now working it up the boards, trying to get inside for a shot, not going to happen. Galvin now with the puck for the Eagles. Finding her man in the middle now. 
but it's going to be stolen away by the Panthers. Ian Brown with the puck now, looking for his options. Loses the puck, though, in front. Noon with the puck is going to be taken away. We're going to see a penalty called on the Panthers again. Another hooking call on the Panthers, Ben. Yeah, and that was deserved there from Kavitka. He went right to the back of that American defender and just pushed him until he couldn't have the opportunity. That was Noon that was had the opportunity at the puck. And Kavitka comes, basically grabs Noon to make sure that he can't and... Excuse me, that was not Kavitka, that was... Lindauer on the Lindauer. penalty there. Yes, yes. So, but still completely deserved. They had a lot of uh, hooking right there. But, I mean, they've been good on the penalty kill so far. Here comes Rouch now for the Panthers trying to get it in. Davis Turner <laughs> tries to get a big hit there. May, able to make a little bit of contact here. Comes Marie Ronjoku. Taking a shot on... Save made by Podelski, not able to stop the rebound though, but it works out in his favor as Rouch is able to clear the puck down. Bale now holds the puck, trying to give it to Gallivan. Gallivan getting it around Turner. Here comes Frey. Over to Kane, good to see him back out on the ice. Yeah. Kane back to Frey. Frey, the assistant captain here, taking your shot, easy save there by Podelski. Good rebound control to get the puck to the corner. Frey picking up the own, her own shot there. But here comes Maria Nijogu. Taking a slap shot, great block in front there by Rauch. That's a doggy play right there. Kane with the puck though below the net. Passing it up to the D-man, Maria Njogu. Over back to Kane. In front, not gonna happen there as Frask tried to get it in. In front is Frey, takes the shot, saved made by Podolski. Davis Turner able to clear it away. Great scoring chance though for the Eagles. Yeah, for the first time in a little while, the Eagles had a great opportunity and a couple of great defensive plays by a couple of Panthers and then a great save there from Podelski. Maria Njogu now bringing it in down for the Eagles. Getting around one man, two man, three man, takes it in, great save by Podelski. Able to get it out now, but it's gonna go right back into the hands of the Eagles. I mean, that's just such an impressive save to be able to get the leg all the way out there. Great flexibility and just overall skill there from Podelski. Exactly, Gallivan now has the puck, bringing it over to Kane. Taking a shot on net, that's going to be stopped by Podelski. Yeah, and Najogu is just, just frustrated that he didn't get that opportunity to put that one in the back of the net. But, I mean, that was a great save. I mean, I, that's, that's one of the better saves I've seen from D2 or D3. When you're right in front of the net, you have a two-on-0 opportunity, and you'd be able to stick the leg out like that. That's exactly. Impressive. Credit enough to Maru and Ajogu to get through all of the high point players to get a shot on net there. Puck now over to Spathies. Now Gavin. Pressure on her though, trying to get it out. Here comes Noon. Noon picks up the puck, working it in for the Eagles, takes a shot on net. Not going anywhere for them. We'll go again with the puck, he's going to send it down. Never mind, it's going to be picked up there by Marciota. Marciota trying to bring it in. He's got his line mates. Great save though by Bale, shot, probably not the right move there, but anything counts, Marciota just trying to work Bale there a little bit more, this line's gonna stay out here. Yeah, and when you look at that penalty kill, they did an incredible job, and like, there wasn't that many opportunities other than that one that Podelski made an incredible save, and the Panthers have looked incredible here on the penalty kill. You got that right, here comes Evangelista now behind the net, fighting Gavin for the puck here on the boards. Picked up by Noon, not going to get out of the zone though. Now it does. McGoigan over to his D partner. That's going to be sent in there by Schlieber. Gauvin now for the Eagles, trying to work it out. It's going off sides, no whistle though. Gauvin's going to send it down. Icing is waved off. Here comes Schliebner. With the puck, gets it around Gauvin. Watching out from Noon now, able to just dump it down. Icing, looks like it's gonna be called. It's gonna be called off though. Great work there by the Panthers. Evangelista now trying to get the puck. It's gonna be taken out of the zone though by Noon and the Eagles. We're gonna see a little bit of a line change here from the Panthers. Spathies working it up to Gauvin. Gauvin picking up the puck in the neutral zone. Not going anywhere with that as Schliebner takes the puck over to McGoigan. Picked up though by Noon, trying to get it back into the offensive zone for the Eagles. 
Pyatt not going to let that happen, though. McGoigan trying to work it down to Marciota. Marciota knocked over. Not going to get a call there, though. Here comes Pyatt. Two on two here. Pass in front. Oh, we're seeing a call here. Hooking on <laughs> Frasca, it looks like it's going to be. Asking the referee why that call was made. Tough play in front, though, there for Frasca. Yeah, as Marciota on that hit actually ended up losing his skate. But another opportunity here for the Panthers to get on the power play. Haven't really been able to create a whole lot of anything so far. But, I mean, if the Panthers can put another one on the board, that would be a really good third period here. Exactly. Panthers are going to have the rest of this period on the power play now as the Eagles are able to clear it down. Podelski stops the puck here. Kvitka picking it up. Trying to work it down the ice now is Kvitka. Looking for his options. He's going to take it in himself. Working the puck up front. Looking for his teammates. Taking it behind the net. Trying to get it out in front. It's going to be tipped in. That's an own goal. Migari Mariba Njogu in front hits off the stake and it's going to skate and it's going to go right past Ryan Bale there for the Panthers' third goal of the night. I mean, if you're a Panther fan, no complaints here. You get a power play goal. Kavitka gets his goal. And, I mean, I mean, you'll take anything that you can get. I mean, on the power play that hasn't looked so great so far, you did have that first power play that Tim Pearl scored on. That was good. And then other than that, not a lot of chances. So, I mean, you can get a goal in the back of the net. Any means necessary, I guess. You got that right. The Panthers will take it. Kvitka now with the puck. He's going to decide to let Pyatt take it instead. Pyatt sending it down low. Maria Najogu now trying to make up for that goal that just got scored in on his skate. Alex Brown working the puck here as the Eagles trying to get it out of their own zone right now. Noon with the puck. It's going to be picked up by Galvin. Two on one here. Not anymore as Pyatt is able to skate the puck back. Puck going behind Podelski now. So this is going to be picked up by Kvitka. Working it up now for Pyatt. Pyatt able to make a good move with his stick. Looking for his teammates that are coming up now. Alex Brown is not going to get to that puck. But Sanderson is going to lose it though straight away. Kvitka now slowing things down. Trying to pick it up. 45 seconds left in the period here. Kvitka has it behind the net. Sending it out front to Sanderson. Sanderson up to Brown. Brown looking for Pyatt. Not going to get that puck. Team slows down. Dump in by Pyatt. We're going to see a little bit of a line change. Ian Brown now on the ice. Galvin has the puck. Only 30 seconds left. Got to do something if you're the Panthers and you want to end off this period with another goal. Exactly. We're seeing line changes here. As we're getting the Tim Pearl and Ian Brown line out. Galvin trying to get the puck from Ian Brown. Not going to happen. Brown works it up top. <laughs> Tip in front there by Sherman. Not going to go anywhere. With the puck now in the corner. Looking for his options. Finds a guy in front. Puck is going to be blocked through some skates there, and that looks like it's going to do it for the period. We're seeing an icing call, probably going to be waved off as the puck is too slow, and that will do it for this second period. Panthers able to score three and take a commanding lead in this game on a lot of penalties, a lot of power plays, a lot of penalty kills, both ways, both teams playing really solid. Bale making a lot of more saves. Podelski getting in a little bit of extra work, and we'll see how this game closes out in the final frame coming up.
And we're back here for the third period in Greensboro. Panthers versus the Eagles. 3-0 Panthers lead after we saw three goals in that last frame for the Panthers. Tim Pearl getting two of them. Ben, what were some things that you noticed? I mean, just the speed of the game was played a lot differently from the second uh, to the first. I mean, like I mentioned in the first period, a lot of the game was played in neutral ice. But then when you look at that period, the Panthers really playing a lot of offensive zone time and, I mean, doing a lot better when it comes to zone entry and what they can really do on the offensive side of the puck. I mean, you saw it a lot more in that second period. I mean, it, they were night and day differences, but those were just a couple. As that, Like I mentioned at the beginning of the second period, that Sherman, Brown, and Pearl line has been incredible. All through the first and now all through the second. I mean, those guys look like they're playing a different brand of hockey out there. They're actually going to get the start of this period. Yeah, you got that right. These guys out here to start the period right now. Ian Brown going to take the face off for the Panthers. As we're seeing Schliebner and McGoygan on D to start. Kane out there for the faceoff for the Eagles. Going to be won there by Ian Brown. Not going to be able to keep it, though, is Max Sherm. Sherman. Frask now trying to get the puck. Up top here for Baker. Blocked in front by McGoygan. Ian Brown picking up the puck. Passing it up. Trying to find Tim Pearl. Not going to happen. That was packed out of the zone by Maria Najogu. Icing called. But it's going to be brought back to the neutral zone because it went off a helmet of a player. So we're going to see a face-off here at the blue line for the Panthers. That was a great little uh, stick there from Najogu. And he's done a great job. He's a name that we've called a lot up here in the booth. And he's done well for this American team. As I mentioned in the pregame show, it's actually his first game with the team. Yeah, so. really exciting stuff to see from him as we come up. Penalty, though, coming up here on Max Sherman after a hit on Frey is going to be called for some interference against Max Sherman. Panthers on the penalty kill again here early on in the third. Yeah, the Panthers have had a couple of interesting little penalties that they've taken. I mean, just bodying some people to the ice in not the correct way. And it's just, it hasn't been costly for them so far. They've looked incredible on the penalty kill. But no matter what, you don't want to be a man down. And though they've been good, you want to play the game from that neutral standpoint. Ian Brown had a stick, touched it high, able to work it all the way down on the ice. The Maria Najogu getting up to Frask. Frask looking for Frey now, the one that earned the penalty for the Eagles. Good stick in front by Federer. Trying to get the puck out. Gallivan not going to let that happen, though. Ian Brown touching it off the glass. Great move there as it's going to go right towards Bale. Bale over now to Maru Najogu. Bringing it up the ice. In on his own. Trying to work around Federov now. Going to get the puck behind the net. Passing it up to Frey now on the defense. Going to be stolen, though, by Davis Turner. Davis Turner now trying to get the puck up the ice. It's a one-on-one -on -one with Frey. Gets the puck around him. Davis Turner going to get the puck below the goal line. Great body there by Marina Jogu. Able to let Galvin get the puck now for the Eagles as they're going to work the puck out of the zone. Kane now with the puck. Galvin looking for his options. Sending the puck down low. Frask now with the puck. Frask back down low to Kane. Kane not able to get it with a bad bounce. <laughs> Galvin getting knocked over there with the puck as here comes Davis Turner. Two on one. With Rouch, Turner and Rouch. Turner takes the shot, great save though by Bale. Rouch passing it back behind the net for Turner. Still on the penalty kill are the Panthers. Davis Turner now doing a little dance. Trying to get it up top to his D-man, not gonna happen. Frask now with the Eagles trying to put some pressure on. Gauvin able to get the puck. Two on two here. Is Rouch able to put some pressure back on here. Turner opting to send the puck back down low. Baker with the puck now for the Eagles. Moving the puck up the ice. Almost ran into Evangelista now. Gauvin working it in on Federov, not able to get it through. Baker now with the puck again. Fanning with it a little bit. Comes up here for the Panthers. Two on shot. He scores. Nate Evangelista puts the Panthers up 4-0 to zero here. 17 minutes, 21 seconds left in the third period. Yeah, just picking your 
corner, and he just goes right over the glove side there of Bale, and Evangelista, I mean, he's one to score some points, and he's done it in numbers with that being his 10th point of the season, having five goals and five assists. And I think that's a pretty good segue to start looking at the D3 leaders of points in this game as we will look at Nate Evangelista now bumping up to the lone leader in points scored this in this year for the D3, joined by teammate Joey Riggio um, at nine. Riggio traveling with the D3 team this weekend. Speaking of Evangelista here, he picks up the puck. It's gonna be stolen though by Gallivan. Panthers now working it down into the corner. Evangelista coming to pick up the puck again. Sending it back down. Looking for Marciota. Marciota with the puck. Making one guy miss. Marciota against two Eagles players right now as Evangelista decides to get in there. Taking the puck out easily. Working the puck in. Taking a shot on Bale. Not going to happen. Bale almost for a second thought it got past him, but it gets stuck in between his legs, and he's going to earn a stoppage for his team. Yeah, that's a couple of times that the Panthers have run the post and gotten an unfortunate bounce of the puck when it comes to the goaltender. But Bale still doing a great job here in this game. Cameron Sanderson now winning the faceoff for the Panthers. Puck gets sent down low now. McGoigan gets the puck over to Pyatt. Save made by Bale. Pyatt creating a quick chance there off a little spin move on his own skates. and Just a great little way to get some extra power on your shot as Pyatt able to send a real fast one but couldn't hit the back of the net. Eagles win the faceoff now trying to get it out. Not going to happen though as it stopped up top. Puck sent down low past Alex Brown. Cameron Sanderson trying to get the puck. Now Frey has it for the Eagles. Sending it up top to Frask now. Frask with a one-on-one -on -one against McGoigan. Looking for teammates as they come in. Great blocker there by Podelski. Frey able to slow the puck down. Sending it in front. Save made by Podelski off the shot by Frask. McGoigan now able to get the puck out. Slowing it down now for the Panthers. Finds Pyatt up on the wall. Pyatt and Brown working in two on two. Pyatt making a move around one guy. Taking a shot and hits the crossbar. Great chance there for the Panthers. Working it in now. McGoigan with the puck up top. Taking a slap shot. That's going to be blocked by Frask. Pyatt trying to get the puck in front. Not going to happen. Frask now with the puck. Trying to get the pass over to Frey. Not going to happen. Baker now decides not to pinch it there. And the puck is going to get behind the goal line again. Alex Brown now putting in a lot of work against Frask on the boards here. It's going to be picked up by Maria Najogu, though. <coughs> Taking the puck in. Getting around Schliebner. Taking a shot up top. It's going to be blocked by Schliebner. Pyatt pegging for the puck on the board. It's finally going to happen. Ian Brown picks it up now, bringing it in the zone. One on five now for the Panthers as Ian Brown moves it in. Save made by Bale in front from Pyatt. It's going to be stopped again by Bale. Yeah, Pyatt's visually frustrated at the way that the couple of the pucks that he had great opportunities to score have bounced. I mean, when you look at a puck that just is an absolute fireball from the blue line that hits the post and then that opportunity right in front of the net, but not being on the lucky end of things, but just unfortunate. A couple tough breaks there from Pyatt as the Eagles now have possession. Gallivan with the puck. Gallivanting his way down the ice. Working it around another guy, able to send it in. Good dump there, great play by Aaron Gallivan. Picked up now though by the Panthers. Max Sherman coming up the ice with Ian Brown, two on one. Sherman to Ian Brown, tries to get the puck, not gonna happen. Gallivan sending the puck back up top. It's gonna be picked up by Noon. Not gonna get through though as the shot comes on, not gonna happen. Fedorov now working his way up the boards. Decides to pass it up top to Brown. Brown working with the puck. Great save there by Bale off the opportunity from Steve Ismali. Haven't called his name too many times tonight, but that's a good chance for him. Yeah, and that, that little two-on-one opportunity there, Sherman and Brown, Ian Brown that is, found a lot of chemistry. I mean, they're, they're both not D3 regulars. They haven't been down here for long, but it looks like they immediately have some chemistry. And 
They've been making some great chances, just unfortunate that Brown couldn't find that one on the back of his stick. Turner up to Kvitka now, who's gonna send the puck back down low. Rouch with the puck. Two Panthers trying to put some pressure on. Great play there at the boards by Lindauer. Sending it over now to Rouch. In front, not gonna get through. Chance here. No call on the play there. Panthers keep it in the zone. DeFalco loses the puck. Here comes Spether. Or Spathies, I should say. Puck gonna come down low. Turner's the one to pick up the puck. Has some time and some space with it. Let's see what he does. Gets around one man is Turner. Getting around two, trying to send it in. Gets the puck to himself. That's gonna be a call there. A tripping call. Coming up against the Eagles that the Panthers are gonna get another chance to work their power play here. Yeah, and that was just a great play there from Turner to just chip that one off the boards to himself. And what else can you do when you got somebody with that level of speed and physicality coming at you? You gotta trip them. So, I mean, a great way to draw that penalty as the Panthers power play tries to continue to get on the board for the third time tonight. Face off one there by Murphy. Beast line out there for the Panthers. The puck gets topped up into the netting and we're gonna see another face off. Time starting to wind down in this game now. Questions start to be thought of the Panthers defensive play for the rest of this period as they're gonna win the face off. Sent in down low, Marciota trying to get the puck. Picks it up. Does a great job to get it around Baker. Here comes up top now. Back to Murphy, Murphy with the puck. Taking a shot, it's gonna go wide. Kvitka down way too low. And this presents an opportunity for the Eagles as Frask is able to get it, but Kvitka working it back there, able to make up for the mistake that he made earlier. Kvitka now with the puck for the Panthers. Just deciding to shoot it down low, trying to find Marciota, not gonna happen as Kvitka picks up the puck again. This time sending it over to, <coughs> excuse me, Nate Evangelista. Evangelista passing it back to Grady Murphy. Murphy trying to work a pack up top, not gonna happen. Kane able to clear it out of the zone, wanted a penalty call there, not gonna get it. Maria Najogu now is gonna just send it all the way down onto Podelski, making a good save there, good stop by the Panthers netminder. Lindauer with the puck. Lindauer working it around Kane. Three on three now coming into the zone. Here comes Marciota, taking a shot on that, it's gonna go wide. Evangelista trying to get the puck, not gonna happen now. Kane playing really up high there with Marciota. You don't see him back very often, but he's able to take the puck here, gonna be the quarterback on the power play. Frask though intercepts a pass in the middle of the ice. Ian Brown letting Kvitka take the puck. Kvitka, we like to see him all the time, he likes to make the move in on his own. This time getting in front, great shot, Murphy scores! Here we're getting a shot of his parents who are at the game. They get to witness his first collegiate goal. Really exciting for him. Great shot there, great opportunity. Murphy able to bury it. Yeah, and that just uh, comes off the stick of Kavitka real well. I mean, when you're looking at a, a little pass like that, you thought he was gonna take it himself, but Murphy ends up with it on the back of his stick and he does a great job of just able to pick the spot that he wants and puts it right past Bale. And this Panthers power play, though, you know, I've mentioned they haven't had a lot of chances, but they capitalized on the ones that they do have going, I believe it's three for five on the power play tonight. Yeah, they've done a really good job of creating chances here, and it's always tough when you've got a short bench, but American is starting to see it now. They're slowing down a little bit, and the Panthers just keep possessing that energy. Ian Brown trying to make a move here, not gonna happen. Gallivan off the boards, Federer lets it get by him. Puck's coming down now. Federov gonna take the puck. Loses the puck though, as here comes the Eagles right in front. Noon falls down, had a great opportunity to score there. Is Molly working it up. Ian Brown tries to get it. Federov able to hit it with his skate, but it's gonna be picked up by Govan and the Eagles. Noon now with the puck is gonna decide to send it in. Is Molly makes a good stop there with his body. Federov now, up to Sherman. Sherman looking for Ian Brown. Ian Brown gets around his man. Coming in, taking a shot, great save by Bale. Full extension, here comes Sherman, not gonna be able to control the puck on his stick. Sherman now with the puck in the corner, sends it up top to Federov. Federov looking for options, decides to take a shot, save made by Bale again. Gallivan now with the puck in the corner, fighting off Max Sherman. Sherman able to come up with the puck, no, he loses it to Gallivan. Gallivan now with space, let's see what he does. Bringing up the boards here for the Eagles, deciding to send it in, and we're gonna get a line change for both teams. 
I mean, that was a great couple of minutes of hockey there for the Panthers. They had a lot of opportunities, and they've just been incredible this period. Ian Brown showing off a lot of his speed and a lot of physicality here from a bunch of different Panthers. Great moves there by Marina Jogu, but it's going to fall down to the ice. So is Davis Turner. Looks like uh, that's not Davis Turner. That's my bad. This is Molly. Looks like he's in pain. Ian Brown now coming up with the ice on a breakaway save made by Bale. Tough sequence of events there for both teams as Maru and Njogu able to make a lot of good moves, bringing it into the blue line. Steve is Molly there on defense. Both of them falling over. A little bit of a hit there. Not pleasant looking on either side. Panthers, though, bringing it down. Losing the faceoff to the Eagles is going to be sent down by Baker. Picked up, though, by Sanderson in front. Pyatt now with the puck. Fighting off Maru and Njogu, who feels like they've been on the ice the entire game. Yeah, I mean, he has been the impact player here for these American Eagles so far. Kane now for the Eagles, trying to outrace the Panthers for the puck here. Decides to just give it up and go with the body. Frask, though, keeping it in. We're seeing a little bit of a battle here on the boards. Sanderson with the puck. Passing it over to McGoigan, trying to get it up for Alex Brown. Not going to happen. Here comes Ruder Joga with a shot in front. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty there. Tough play for Schliebner as trying to play the body a little bit accidentally gets hit in the head. It's going to be another penalty kill for the Panthers with 9 minutes and 14 seconds left here. Yeah, penalties have really plagued this team so far in these last two periods. I mean, let, yet again, there's no points on the board for this American Eagles team, which this is just uncharacteristic from them, but you see the Panthers doing really well on the power or the penalty kill, excuse me. And we're going to see if they can keep it up with these tired legs throughout this third period. Yeah, one guy that's done it a lot for them this period is Davis Turner. Losing the face off, though. Frey sending it in. It's going to be picked up by Maria Najogu. Trying to get it down low. It's going to be picked up by Kvitka. Kvitka able to make a move around one. Sending it up top. It's going to get through the defenseman. Maria Najogu skating all the way down the ice to pick it up with a little bit of pressure from Turner. Sending it over to Galvin. Galvin up to Kane. Kane and Frask now with Frey tailing behind. Kane knocked down from behind. That's going to be a penalty on Kvitka. We're going to see five on three hockey here. Panthers are going to be on a tough kill for a minute and a half. Yeah, and that's just not a good look for Kvitka who had his the back completely turned and I'm just in awe that he would hit that. But we'll, we'll see. You know, there's a minute and a half of penalty kill here for the five on three. And you got three Panthers out there willing for the task. And we'll see what will happen as the Eagles seem to be taking their time out. Yeah, smart move there by the Eagles coaching staff. This is a chance for them to maybe get a little bit of momentum coming into the game. We're going to take this time now to look at our uh, upcoming five games here for D3. Yeah, and when you look at the next five for the D3 program, uh, you got an one against American. That will happen tomorrow. And then four games that are out of conference. So when you're looking at conference play for the Panthers, they haven't been successful so far in this in this year. I mean, it is their inaugural year, so you got to cut them some slack. But when they have four out-of-conference games against opponents where they're going to be traveling a lot, like you don't have a lot of home games. There's only four left. And when you're on the road, and it's not a good look for the Panthers. But if they can get a sweep of the series this weekend, they could be going into these next four uh, games just in a much different light than they would have been if they would have lost both these games and a much better mindset hopefully getting back into some better conference play after the Christmas break and we'll see what the Panthers will continue to do but a good looking schedule for the next five so far the pa ones that the Panthers may be able to capitalize on. Five on three penalty kill now for the Panthers starting up as they're going to lose the faceoff, but it's going to be picked up by Max Sherman trying to get it out. Not going to happen. Kane with the puck now. Bringing it in, decides to pass it up to Maru Njogu. Working it outside for Galvin. 
Galvin has plenty of time with the puck, working it in, finds an open cane, Podolsky able to make a save. Maruna Najogu now, picking up the puck, outside to Galvin again. Galvin with plenty of time now, working it in, taking a shot, it's gonna hit the side of the netting there. Panthers trying to clear it out, not gonna happen. Frey now with the puck, sending it in for Galvin. Galvin up top for Maruna Najogu. Slap shot, save made by Podelski. Cool, calm, collected. That is Zach Podelski right now. I mean, when you're taking shots like that, I mean, this is the most fire he's seen all game in a short period of time. And Podelski showing that he's up for the task and losing his water bottle in the process, but he's doing a great job here tonight so far. Sanderson losing the face off to Kane. Maruna Jogu now. Gallivan with the puck. Getting it across to Kane. Pressure there from McGeegan. Maria Njogu now with the puck. Up top, over to Galvin. Galvin again with plenty of time. Sanderson doing his best to make sure Galvin doesn't have a good shot. Maria Njogu now up top, taking another slap shot save made by Podelski. Kane picking up the rebound though on the outside. 20 seconds left, a five on three play. Kane has the puck, working it in. Shot's gonna be taken, blocked in front though by McGeegan. Galvin trying to get it across for Kane. Open net, now it's gonna happen though, he misses it wide. Podelski able to recover it in the center of his zone. Gallivan, gonna lose the puck though. Panthers, not able to clear as Maria Njogu picks up the puck, we're back on five on four. Picked up in front by Frey. Right in front, not gonna happen though, as we're gonna get another penalty on the Panthers. Frey picks up, Maria Njogu now. Bale coming to the bench, we're gonna see six on four hockey for a little bit here, Gallivan has the puck. Noon coming out on the ice, shot in front, stopped by Podelski. Lots of extracurriculars here. It'll be exciting to see where this goes, especially tomorrow in the game that we're gonna see. Panthers, though, are gonna have another 10 seconds of five on three to kill off. Yeah, it's interesting to see the strategy there of American. They decided to opt for the goalie going to the bench and not letting the Panthers touch up on that one so that they could have more of five on three power play time. But they instead they went for one shot on the six on four, couldn't get anything going. But Podelski again making good saves and also a lot of Panthers defenders that have been able to uh, put the bo their body on the line and throw their body in front of some pucks. Sherman winning the faceoff back to Federer. Federer able to clear it out as Baker races down to pick up the puck. The Eagles looking for any kind of momentum that they can get, trying to end this game, get a little bit of anything going into the game tomorrow. Puck's gonna get by him. Pyatt now sending the puck in, back to five on four. Baker now with the puck. Sherman though, battling for it, is able to pick it up. Working it around. Baker and Noon is Sherman. Holding onto the puck for as long as he can, killing off as much time as he can. Pyatt able though to pick up the puck in his offensive zone, looking for Sherman in front of the net. Pyatt working it behind the net as the net's gonna come off as Noon runs into it, knocking Bale over. Looks like he's okay though. Good sportsmanship there by Max Sherman to check in on Bale after that hit. Play's gonna slow down a little bit here. Bale getting checked in with the refs here. Looks like he's gonna be okay. Panthers able to kill off both chances that the Eagles had of five on three hockey as now we're gonna see more five on four after the penalty on Schliebner. Pyatt's coming in here to take the face off with Turner, Fedorov, and Ismaili. Pyatt able to win it back to Fedorov. Panthers seeing what they can do offensively here. Fedorov shots going wide. Baker and Pyatt battling for it as, pa as Baker's gonna win it, getting it up to Frask. Frask now for the Eagles, taking it up, finding Kane. Two on two, Podelski gets it in and is gonna be able to hold on to it. Yeah, just a good save there. And you know, this Panthers team looking really good on the penalty kill again. That's a, t that's a story that we've told this entire game. Their penalty kill has been impressive. Davis Turner, Noah Rauch, Dorian Federev, just some names to mention on this penalty kill and they've been looking very, very composed. Pass across now, Kane has a shot, it goes off the post! Podelski 
is going to be giving that one a hug after that. Open chance there by Kane after a cross ice pass by the Eagles. Panthers have to be careful now. Not a lot of time left in the game. Big lead for them, but it's not time to let off the gas in any way, you would think. These guys need to stay on it. It would be a really big statement here if the Panthers can keep up the score right now. Yeah, we're just hoping that the Panthers can continue to get back in the win column these next couple of weeks and really just create a winning culture over, these, over this first year. I mean, you don't want to be just basically beat up on in your first year. Like, you want to be competitive. And these next couple of games, like you mentioned, we saw the next five. It would be interesting to see if the Panthers can create that winning culture. Frask now bringing it in. Taking a shot, it's going to be saved by Podelski. Frasca making a lot of good moves here as the Eagles are starting to get a little bit more pressure here on the Panthers' netminder, working their shot total up to 13. But Podelski has looked really solid on all of them. Faceoff coming in here now. Murphy loses the faceoff. Gallivan sending it up. Kane trying to get it. Gallivan's going to pick it up again, though. Loses it. Panthers are going to send it down with the Lindauer clear. Puck coming up in front. Bale decides to hold on to it. Smart move there. 11 seconds left on the power play now for the Eagles. Well, the Panthers being able to almost kill off, I believe, four straight penalties that they've taken. Uh, four or three, if I'm mistaken. But, I mean, again, just a testament to their penalty kill. Block in front there by Frasca. Vitka now trying to work the puck out of Frasca's way, sending it his own self up the ice now. Gallivan losing the puck almost. Evangelista trying to get it. Not going to happen, though. Kvitka fighting with Noon for it. Puck's coming back down for Lindauer. Lindauer takes the puck. Four minutes and 35 seconds left in this game. Across now. Kvitka has the puck for the Panthers. Looking for teammates. Kvitka drops it to Evangelista. Shot goes way wide. Lindauer has to slow things down now as pressure from Govin. Not going to get let it get to him. Marciota sending the puck down low. Marie Renajogu trying to get it up to Govin. Not going to happen. Kvitka keeps the zone for the Panthers. Kvitka able to keep the zone again for the Panthers as the puck gets down for Gallivan. Marciota with the puck now making an incredible spin move. Tough pass there though is going to be intercepted by the Eagles and cleared out of the zone. Murphy now the goal scorer in the game, taking the puck out wide, looking for his line mates. Trying to get it through, but Maria Njogu has strong defensive positioning there to not let the puck get into a dangerous position. Hayes now with the puck for the Eagles. It's gonna be stolen by Grady Murphy. Grady Murphy taking a shot, save made by Bale, straight down the middle. Yeah, there's a little extracurriculars after that one, and Murphy being able to get his first goal of his career. Also just trying to make a statement saying that he's here. He's ready to, you know, back some of the load that this Panthers team needs so desperately. And we'll see what he can do the rest of this season. Noon winning the faceoff for the Eagles. It's going to be picked up now by Davis Turner. Trying to get it around Spathies. Turner now with the puck. Looking for Rouch in the middle. Picks up the puck diving, trying to get the shot on net. It's going to go wide, though. Puck is going to be picked up easily by Baker. Sending it over to Govin. Govin now working it in for the Eagles. He's going to decide to dump it in. McGeegan now with the puck. Up to Turner. Not able to get a good stick on it as McGeegan's going to send it up. Trying to get it to Rouch. Rouch with a breakaway opportunity. Not going to happen. Those Bakers able to get on the back check. Really strong defensive play there by Baker. I've always been impressed by Rouch's just commitment and just going all out with everything that he's done. Even breaking a glass panel here at the Greensboro Ice House. He does it all here for the Panthers. That's true. Turner with the puck now making a move. It's going to be stopped in front there by Baker. Rouch now with the puck in the corner trying to find DeFalco out front. DeFalco's going to get the puck behind the net. Good use of the paddle there by Bale as he's able to get another coverage here. Two minutes, 23 seconds left in this game. DeFalco out there is that extra lineman for the forwards. And 
not been able to call his name much tonight, but he's been taking a handful of face-offs for this Panthers team. Ian Brown here on the face-off that time is going to able to get it back to Max Sherman, who sends it up to his D-man. Tim Pearl with the puck now in the corner, fighting off an Eagles player. Looking for Ian Brown below, trying to get it back up to Tim Pearl. Shot's going to be stopped there by Bale. Good passing work there by this Panthers line that has just continued to dominate tonight. Yeah, that little back and forth play there, I mean, it looked pretty planned. I mean, that was a great little play there that the Panthers drew up. And this line has a lot of chemistry, the three of these. That is Brown, Pearl, and Sherman. Sherman now loses the puck below the net. Ian Brown trying to pick up the puck. It's going to come up for Federov. Federov over to his Molly. Sending it down low in front for Sherman. Tries to get a tip on. Not going to happen. Sherman now battling it in front. Frey trying to get it to Frasca. Picked up by Ian Brown instead. Ian Brown looking for his teammates, trying to see what he can do. Comes down low to Sherman. Sherman looking for two teammates which are in front of the net. Sherman working it out wide. Taking the puck way out wide. Taking a shot, he goes in! Max Sherman with the goal. Tim Pearl pointing to him, might have tipped off him, did not though. He points straight over to Max Sherman as he's able to make a six nothing lead for these Panthers. Uh, and that's just a great story. Sherman coming back from a very long injury where he missed a large chunk of time last season, a big chunk of time in this season, is able to get his first goal back from injury. And that's just something you'll love to see here. I mean, it may be the last two minutes of this game, but Sherman doing what he does best, and that's scoring goals and making impact. That's true. Lindauer with the puck now. Trying to get it up to Sanderson, not going to get it. Gallivan with the puck. Trying to find Govin, not going to happen. Sanderson putting some pressure on the Eagles now. Gallivan with a great move to get it around Sanderson. Not going to get it through Pyatt, though, as Pyatt's able to pick up the puck. Loses it to Miru and Ajoga. Picked up again, though, by Sanderson at the line. But that's going to be stopped there by Wall. Govin now with the puck. Pyatt able to make a really good play on the back check there. Miru and Ajogu passing it over for Gallivan. Puck is dumped down now, less than a minute here in the game. Kvitka with the puck. Getting it up for Alex Brown, not able to get a stick on it. Govin now loses it. It's going to be picked up by Lindauer over now to Pyatt. Pyatt with Alex Brown. Trying to find Brown in front, not going to happen. Pyatt now working it around. Govin, though, with a good defensive play, not going to let Pyatt stick to the puck easily. Alex Brown trying to get a shot on net, not going to happen. Gallivan now for the Eagles with the puck behind the net. Brown putting on a lot of good pressure there. The puck's going to get sent out low. 20 seconds left for the Panthers. you got to be thinking in your head right now, Zach Podelski not facing too many shots tonight, but he's had a really good game so far. Could be Don't Gallivan it. slowing it down. Don't say it. Not saying it. Maroon Njogu <laughs> holding on to it. Two seconds left. And you have it here, ladies and gentlemen, the first shutout in High Point D3 history. It belongs to Zach Podelski. I mean, no one greater to just hold that first, just the first shutout. And that's just a really impressive game by Podelski. And, I mean, puddles, as we call him here up in the booth. And, I mean, he absorbed all those shots that they were rocks in a pond. So... It's just great to see. Panthers really formed a lot of great offense. And I mean, it's just a great story. And we'll be back here tomorrow, early in the morning at, I believe it is 9.15 is scheduled puck drop. And we'll be right back here for, on the High Point Hockey YouTube channel, as you've heard the Panthers and the Eagles, six to nothing. Yeah, great game here from both teams. Really, statement win for the Panthers. I mean, Zach Podelski, it must have rained yesterday, the way we were seeing puddles everywhere on the ice yesterday, or today, I should say. It'll be nice to see tomorrow. We have probably the projected starter, Filippo coming out here. Panthers able to get a lot of goals, a lot of good plays, taking maybe too many penalties is something they want to work on. A little bit of fireworks here and there throughout the game, so it should be a really exciting game tomorrow. I've been Ian Temkin, you've been Ben Shelton, and we'll see you tomorrow.